Jenny, we heard from the ref last night on how he saw the Trevathan hit. He said, quote, he was being stood up. That's when 59 came in and hit a defenseless player in the helmet area unnecessarily. From my perspective, I just didn't see enough to have it rise to that level, referencing, of course, of being ejected, end quote. Jenny, you've talked to players. How fine is the line between dirty hit and trying to make a play? Yeah, it's going to be a judgment call. But, you know, this past offseason, the NFL made a point of emphasis toward allowing officiating crews to eject people for what they considered catastrophic or especially egregious hits. So it wasn't a rule change, but it was a point of emphasis. It's not as black and white as, say, the college targeting rule, but it would allow a referee in a case like this to eject Trevathan. And I do think that's what should have happened because this – Whatever the intention was, it was a catastrophic hit. I mean, the, the ball carrier was stood up. He wasn't advancing any farther. And you see Trevathan go in there, lower his head so hard that his mouth guard pops out. So this one sh will be used, I believe, as an example of this should have been an ejection. This will probably lead to a suspension. And I think, you know, as is the case with many of these points of emphasis, sometimes there needs to be a case during the season that doesn't go the way the league intended it to go to use as an example. And I think this will certainly be used as an example because the reason they, they allowed for the ejection, they, they wanted to make that emphasis this off season was because they felt like enough of these hits weren't getting taken out of the game. The, the current penalty, you know, system wasn't legislating them out of the game enough. And a case like this, this is certainly the kind of hit that needs to be legislated out of the game. Do you expect a suspension? And if so, how many games? I, I do expect a suspension. I, it's hard to say because, you know, there's a difference between repeat offenders and, and a, a case like this, right? So I, I don't know off the top of my head Gervaisen's history. I can't remember him necessarily being involved in a, in a bunch of suspensions like this. I would guess it starts at one game. Um, that would be my expectation, um, especially because this point of emphasis is sort of the allowing for the ejection and the suspension you know, the, the ejection part of it is new this year, right? And they didn't do the ejection during the game. So I would imagine that they would, you know, enforce a suspension for one game afterward.